Question 34. We've got to work out 2331 divided by 37. So we're going to use the chunking method for division to do that. Now, when we're working out the chunking method, we need to find easy chunks of 37 that we can do in a head. So we're going to need one lot of 37, 10 lots of 37, 100 lots of 37, 2 lots of 37, 20 lots of 37, and 200 lots of 37, and one more, which always comes in handy, 5 lots of 37. Now we're going to work out what these chunks actually are. So 1 lot of 37 is 37, and it should always be easy chunks that you can do in your head. So we're not going to have to start working out 3 lots of 37, or 9 lots of 37, or anything like that. So 1 lot of 37 is 37. 10 lots of 37 is the same as 37, but with one zero on the end, so 370. 100 lots of 37 is just 37, with two zeros on the end, so 3,700. Two 37s is going to be 74. 20 37s is going to be 74, but with one zero on the end. And 237s is going to be 74, with two zeros on the end. The only other one we need is 5 times 5 37, which is going to be half of 10 times 37. So if we half this one, half of 300 is 150, and half of the 70 is 35. So if you add those two together, you're going to get 185. So 537 would be 185. Now the thing with chunking is that it is repeated subtraction. So you repeatedly subtract the largest chunk that you can from this big number here until there's nothing left. So we're looking for the largest number we can take off 2,331. Now we can't take off 7,400 because that's too big. We can't take off 3,700 because that's also too big. So what we can take off is 20 lots of 37, which is 740. So let's take that off. So 740. And because that's 20 lots, we need to write 20 at the side here. Okay, so we'll take that off. So let's work out what we've got now. So we've got 1 take away 0 is 1, 3 take away 4 we can't do, so let's borrow. 13 take away 4 is 9, 2 take away 7 we can't do, so we need to borrow. So make that into a 1 and make the 2 into 12. 12 take away 7 is 5, and 1 take away nothing is 1. So we're down to 1,591. Now at this point, you might be clever, because you might... You might think, well, I'll just take off another 20 lots, which is 740. But actually, you could take this 740 and you could double it and get 40 lots of 37. Because double 20 lots is 40 lots. So double this answer would be 1,480. Now, you could actually take that off straight away and that would be 40 lots. So let's do that. So 1,480 is 40 lots. As I say, you could take off 20 lots again, but the quicker you can reduce this number down to zero, the quicker you'll have your final answer and the less working out you'll have to do. So most of the time, these chunks should be enough to get you the answer. But on this particular occasion, it might be an idea to make an extra chunk of 40 lots because this will reduce the number much quicker. So if we now subtract 40 lots, let's see where that takes us. So we've got 1 take away 0 is 1, 9 take away 8 is 1, 5 take away 4 is 1, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So we're down to 111. So now we need to figure out what we can take off now. So um, the next biggest number to take off is this 74 here, which is a chunk of 237. So let's take off 74. And write the two at the side there. And let's see what we get when we take that off. So one take four we can't do, so borrow. Eleven take away four is seven. Nothing take away seven we can't do, so borrow. That makes this into ten. Ten take away seven is three. So we're down to thirty-seven. And now it should be easy because thirty-seven is just one lot of thirty-seven. So if we take thirty-seven off now, which is just a chunk of one thirty-seven. 
So we take my 37 off, and that's a chunk of one lot of 37. And it's obvious what's going to happen here. 37 take 37 is zero. Now, once we've got down to zero, all we've got to do is say, well, this was 20 lots of 37, this was 40 lots of 37, two lots of 37, and one lot of 37. We add up all of those lots, we've got 20 add 40 is 60, 60 plus 2 plus 1 is 63. So our final answer is 63. So how many 37s divide into 2,331? Final answer, 63. Just a word of warning, if this doesn't come down to zero, it could be that you've made a mistake in your sub subtraction, so you'd have to check for that. However, it does not necessarily mean you made a mistake if it doesn't come down to zero, because if it doesn't come down to zero, all it means is that there is a remainder. So if you get a number less than 37 that's left, that number that's left would be a remainder. So you must double check that you haven't made a mistake in your subtraction.